um, I mean, I remember for a while, Cartoon Network, whenever there was a presidential campaign, you know, for adults, Cartoon Network would have vote your favorite cartoon character as president of Cartoon Network. Mm -hmm. Like Scooby Doo was president for a while. I remember those. I remember that. Yeah, I mean, stuff like that, they just don't do anymore. A lot of the creativity and the, uh, and just the, the well, comedy to, of cartoons is is gone. And well, to be fair, it's been forever since I've watched Cartoon Network. When I only watch it now for Adult Swim. That's about it. Exactly. So, but, well, I well I'll take that back. I watch it a bit when my niece is over here or I'm over there, and sometimes I'll put it on for her. And it's just not the same. It, it's really not. It's just a lot of that old flair is gone for whatever reason. They, they it, I think they do definitely don't do as much as they used to, like you said, with that. Like the little um, in between commercial stuff, funny commercial stuff like that, yeah. like the Samurai Jack and all that, where it was, where they where they cross over the characters with each other, just to like wouldn't this scenario be funny? Yeah, it's just it's all it's it, not not to sound like a like a liberal liberal leftist or anything, but it's just so corporate now. It's com- toy commercial after toy commercial. Buy this DVD. There's no fun in it anymore. I think that's the reason a lot of cartoons have gone the way they have. It's just that. It's not so much about the fun of the show. It's just what you can promote w- w- within it. And that's what sets My Little Pony apart is, yes, we're, we're a cartoon based off a toy, but that's not, our, that's not our primary focus. We're a cartoon that's trying to be an actual cartoon. Well, the people that actually work on the show, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that, that, that's what matters is those people. You know, yes, Hasbro's a major part of it, of course. Without Hasbro, you can't have ponies, but it's the people who work on it. And these people are the dudes who made the cartoons in the 90s that we all love so much. They know what they're doing, and they remember how to make great shows. Not, not to say that good shows don't come out still. There's just, like you said, there's fewer of them. Yeah. But I don't think we're ever going to see Cartoon Network like we did back in the 90s. Yeah. Which, which makes me very sad, because if I could get a hold of old DVDs or tapes or whatever of Cartoon Network back then... Um, I would keep those in my apartment just to watch for myself or have Addie come over and have her watch them. Well, honestly, we don't really know like if they do any more of that stuff because like I said, I haven't, I watched I haven't it. watched Cartoon Network in a long ass time. I've watched it. Um, <laughs> the last we, thing I ever saw that son, anything like that was on the hub where they did the, uh, vote for your favorite pony thing. You see, yeah, but still the fact that it's just that one thing, you know. It used to be that was all over the place. Now it's one or two things. But how often have you said you said you watched it? Every so often, whenever it, my niece is over or whatnot. It's not like I watch it religiously because I'm usually at work most days. But still, I mean, from what I've seen, it's just commercial after commercial. Yes, they do a little promotional thing here and there. Hey, watch such such a show at such such a time. Or we've got Pokemon movie number 47 coming out. <laughs> but it, it, it's not the fun of it. I mean, Toonami. Holy shit! Well, fucking lightning in a bottle back then. Remember? Come on. Is the old style still back? Um. Is it still? Uh, I uh, think so. Yes. Tom and his Tom and his in his spaceship. Yeah, I think they actually brought that back. Yes. Okay, cool. Cause I I remember I heard about that and I was like, oh, that's badass. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm uh. I remember I watched Cartoon Network in the early two thousands, and Tom became yes, he his animation got better, but became more sleek and cartoony. And it, that was, he was he was more round. He was more round. He didn't you know he didn't look as badass as he did back in the mid nineties. It wasn't as cool. Hell, I remember um, Tom had his own show for for a few episodes. Remember? He, he had a little mini series. Yeah, he had his own mini series. That that's the kind of effort I love from cartoon shows and whatnot. When they go to that, very few do that now. They really they, they really do. But My Little Pony, yeah, we've got. Um, Four seasons and now two movies. And yes, we have an awesome line of toys and whatnot, but the fandom it's generated is amazing. I mean, I love the fandom of My Little Pony. I mean, it still blows my mind every time I look at my Dashy coin. That's not an official Hasbro product. That's just something someone went out and made and has their own website in. They got Hasbro's permission, I'm sure now, but still, this this is just the inspiration of a fan. Absolutely fantastic! I have thought about that. <clears throat> Just all the music that comes out—the music, the, the oh, the, yeah, the music blows my mind. The animations, all oh, the, the arts, the story. Yeah. Well, n- not yeah, to knock fanfic writers, but you know, every fandom has fanfics. Yeah. But you know, they're they're just as important. I mean, 
I, I've got my own fanfic, which I've never even published. It's not pointer related, but it's a fanfic. Maybe, maybe one day I'll publish it. Um, but it's just so many things. Like, yeah, Doctor Who's an assistant and Doctor Who's adventures, Sherlock Who's daring do's adventures, uh, Fallout Equestria, Crisis Equestria. Very amazing. Just the, uh, it's just amazing how a cartoon show inspires inspire, so many people. Yeah. yeah. So many people. I've, I've often w- wondered about the psychology of that. What inspires someone to do that? Like, I wonder how many people have thought, yeah, I want to get into this kind of thing, but I don't really know. Yeah. I mean, and then, admitted that was kind of us, you know? Yep. That's and, why, and that's why I'm putting, uh, bringing it up. Exactly. Because I'm, um, uh, we kind of did this on a whim. We talked about it. We've bullshitted about this for years. Just, not years. Well, like a year or two. If, yeah, if, we've said we should do this. We should do this. We've never done it until one day I'm like, Ruder, bring over the microphone. We're going to try this. We're going to see what happens. And while we haven't got the following yet that, you know, my ego says we should have. I'll admit <laughs> <laughs> but hey, the fact that we've got as many subscribers as we do. It is amazing. It is amazing. It's it's a surprise. It's eight more than I thought we'd have. It's not the twenty million I was hoping for, but what are you gonna do? The fact that we've got those eight makes me happy, and the fact that Suki put us up on her on her Facebook page so all her other bronies can find out about us, very flattering. Yes. At, you know, very flattering. I mean, I was just gonna say to her, "Hey, do you wanna be on the show? Do you know?" You know, Edwin and Ruin her commentary. It's just, it's just a lot of fun just talking and having a good time. She goes, sure, that'd be great. I'd love to do it. And I'm going to put it up on Facebook. I was like, wow, you don't have to do that, but it's great. You appreciate it. Suki's good. She's um, up in Virginia right now for all those who heard her already, you know, from our previous videos. She's up in Virginia. Her and her fiance, they're doing very well, very happy. Her program is going very well for her education. Everything's just going great for her. Suki, when you hear this, I hope, hope you and your, your fiancé are doing fantastic. Give me a call once in a while, for Christ's sake. You, you know, you got my number. It's not that hard. Why do I have to be the one to make all the phone? Okay, I'm getting on a tangent again. Your chair, your chair just popped. Yeah. Old lazy here. It's been around. I, actually, the story of how I got this chair is kind of funny. Uh, my mom came home one night. She's like, hey. I need you to go to my uh, nursing home place. That chair in the living room the, the, that Edgewin's always using is so beat up. We gotta get him a new one. I thought, wait, where are we going to get it from a, a uh, from a retirement home? And then a, a realization came over me. Oh my god, we're taking a dead person's stuff. <laughs> I'm like, mom, this chair, did the person who owned it, did they die in it? She's like, No! Just maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't say that would have been terrible if she did. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm in a dead person's chair. But uh, it's just so damn comfortable. When I mean trade this chair. It's it's got that creak to it. You've heard on many a video that that creak of being broken in. Stop that. Okay. Good. Actually I'm uh we're going to keep talking, but I'm going to get a drink. You want anything? No, I'm good. All right, well, I'm going to get a drink, but as for the phantom... Ugh. Hopefully I can pick you up over there. It's not that bad. As for the phantom... I'm just going to shout. Um, I, I just love where it's going. I, I'm subscribed to many channels. I mean, I would have to say, 50% of all my YouTube subscriptions that by now are are Brony subscri- <clears throat> subscriptions. Really? The other 50% is a combination of military, gun, and that kind of stuff. Mostly guns. I don't see any difference. Shut up. <laughs> now I meant the ponies and all the military stuff. Oh, dude. <laughs> I have one. Oh, dude, I'm subscribed to Fob Equestria, so that's like a combination of ponies and the military. <laughs> so there you go. And But what kind of what, what kind of channels uh, pony related do you subscribe to, Burner? Uh... Pretty much, uh, <clears throat> what do you call them? Um, uh, fanfic readers. The uh, you know I have to subscribe to many of those. I I'm uh, subscribed to uh, the guys that are doing <clears throat> that are doing uh, 
Crisis Equestria. Uh, Boogly Bray? Yeah. Uh, the guy that, that that has done a reading of uh, Fallout Equestria, Equestria. Oh, yeah. Because I like to listen to it every now and then. A way to kill time at work. Yep. He's also doing uh, Project Hor- uh, Fallout Equestria, Project Horizon. Um, the the two Doctor Who's. Uh, the ones I told you about? Mm-hmm. Pony in a Box and Pony with Pockets? Yes, those two. Have you heard of uh, Fallout Equestria Tales of a Jonetown Pony? You, you told me about this. Well, yeah, but I mean, have you actually listened to it? Yeah. Okay. I think I told you that I caught up with it. Oh, you, no, you never told me that. Yeah, I did. I don't remember you saying that. Well, that that just shows how bad your memory is. I am... Old, old-timer. I am... I'm getting old-timer memory from the chair. <laughs> and, uh... I, I mentioned Scribbler before. Scribbler? Yes. She does yeah, yeah. Magic reading. That's uh, right. And, uh... While we're on the subject of her, real quick... Uh... Her and her family are, uh... Having a little bit of uh, financial problems because uh, her her dog her, her pets her little the dog Isuki got sick. So uh, if any uh, she asked to she had, her and her boyfriend have asked if uh, even if you can't co- uh, contribute money to the uh, to to helping her that uh, we should actually we should at least uh, pass on the word to see if anyone else can help because. Ironically, she has a, a dog mm-hmm. named Suki, just like my little pup. Spell, so, spelled the same way? No, it's missing the T at the beginning. Oh, so it's like our, my Suki. Yes. So it's spelled it, like that. Oh, like so your, it's, spelled like your friend Suki. Yeah. But, but hearing the name kind of makes me worry about my little pup. Suki, Suki. Yeah, speaking of which, when is your Suki with a T going to be on our show? Mm hmm. So I'm sure she has concise commentary. Uh-huh. It will, it'll sound something like... Or if a fire if a fire truck or a police car come by, something more like... <laughs> and that's something everybody wants to hear. It's adorable. It is. When, you're, got... not, when you're not trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> except, well, except for when you're not trying to sleep. When, when you're trying to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Runer, something's coming. It's making the noise. <laughs> Get up. We're gonna die. <clears throat> it's funny because I like <clears throat> you can hear when it's coming, and like, but it's not until it gets right next to the house that she starts howling. She'll. <laughs> but yeah. Um... Yeah, if you brought over here, whenever the fire trucks come by, she'd be freaking out. But yeah, so um, if anyone can help her out. Um, Please do so, man. Do the right thing. Because uh, unfortunately, I'm I'm having my own financial problems. So. Me too. Uh, yeah, help us out too while you're at it. No, it's not that bad. Where I'd be begging for money. Oh, I am. I'm. Well, that's just because I'm a mooching oh, bastard. <clears throat> oh, Bab Scribbler. That's her. Uh, that's her um, YouTube page, and uh, you can. There's a video there that'll that'll point out how you can help her if you can. Help help her pup and her family. Actually, I think they were, they've already done the uh, procedure for her pup, but uh, the the money is where they're having a problem with. Because puppy helping is always the right thing to do. Yes, especially ones named Suki. Indeed, I have to agree here. 